Hey there fellow Minecrafters, welcome back to the Jiraki series here, this is Jason and welcome to yet again another Minecraft command block tutorial. This is a series where I show you cool things to do with command blocks in Minecraft vanilla, so no mods whatsoever, just the base game and command blocks, that's all you need. And within this video I'm going to be showing you some cool things with some signs as you can see. This is a, what I like to call a blinking sign or a animated glowing sign, I suppose. But as you can see, this, this says, hey there, fellow Minecrafters. And <laughs> I've actually got the glow effect to animate. Now, usually in the game, you have to use a glow ink sack from a glow squid in order to actually get this effect to appear on a sign. As you can see, if I get a sign here and put some text in it, I have to usually, usually you have to use a glow ink sack in order to actually get a glow effect. But in this case, we're just altering the sign directly. So I'm in Minecraft 1.17.1 and I'm on the Java edition. This should work for Bedrock as well. And we're also using a feature, the Glow Ink Sack, which should, which is more readily available in, I guess, Minecraft 1.18 when the Glow Squids are actually spawning where they are meant to be spawning for the Caving Cliffs update part two. And yeah, this should work for Minecraft 1.18 as well. Now, if you want to see more videos like this, then be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss anything. And as you can see, I've got quite a few signs set up here. I've got this one, I've got this one over here, which says, thanks for watching, you're awesome. Of course, all of my viewers are awesome for actually looking up my content. And this one, of course, please subscribe, the most important message of them all when it comes to this video right here. But, um, yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to do something like this, and it's quite straightforward. And as you can see, there are six command blocks here, but you only need two command blocks per sign in order to get this to work. So that is why there's six right here, but you can do a lot of different things with this. And yeah, you can actually put the sign anywhere in the world so long as it's actually near you and actually in render distance or within the distance so that the redstone is being activated. But we can just pick a random area. So let's go over here, shall we? Let's just place the sign over here. So we're going to be using this sign. And what shall we put on here? Minecraft rocks. There we go. We're going to animate this bit of text right here on this sign. And what I have set up over here is a very simple clock circuit. So all of these repeaters are on the normal tick setting and I've got them going in a loop like this. And you have to actually start the clock. So what I like to do is I like to put a command block on either side like that. And then I have this sort of repeating circuit right here. Now, if you want to make the blinking less frequent, then you actually increase the delay on these repeaters so that the blinking happens less often. So um, as you can see right here, if I increase the delay on this right here, you can see that now the blinking is less frequent. So you, you've got quite a lot of uh, freedom in what you do there, um, but uh, just bear that in mind. So you're going to want a command block on either side and it needs to be connected if you're doing multiple signs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding two new command blocks on each of these so that I can animate that sign over there. So you need to place down two command blocks like this and make sure it's connected to the clock like so. Now, if you haven't got a command block, you just need to do slash give and then your name, and then Minecraft colon command block, command underscore block, in order to actually get one, and you can just place them down like so. So in order to actually animate that sign, what we need to do is we need to actually get the block position of this sign right here. So what we're going to do is here, we've actually got uh, on the right, 
you've got targeted block and it will have three numbers and that is basically the block coordinate of the sign we are looking at. So I am just going to note this down. So 30, 64 and minus 169 like so okay so once you've actually noted that down we can actually animate it very very easily so the commands that i am i am going to provide some commands in the description of the video so that you can see it for yourself all right everyone once you've got the coordinates of the sign you need to pick one of the sides and we're going to be setting up the command that actually turns the glow effect on for the sign so in order to do that we're going to do slash data merge and then block because we're altering or adding data to the sign block itself we're altering the data tags in that regard so we are then going to put the coordinates of the sign so 30 64 and then minus 169 like so and then what we then do is we're going to be doing some data tags at that point so we're going to be doing this data tag so glowing text colon and then 1b like that and it is as simple as that now what you're then going to want to do is you're going to want to select that command and then copy it because that will make it easier to set the other command that we need to do on the other side we're going to be making it so that the glow effect is turned off rather than on so all we need to do for that is put in the same command at the same coordinates but put glowing text colon 0b instead okay now once we've actually done that that is done and if we go over to this sign right here you can see that it is indeed blinking and is animated with the glow effect so you can do this with any sign so long as you specify the sign unfortunately you can't name the sign and then target it that way because they are blocks instead of entities but it's still a very nice effect and something that would be pretty cool to use I guess in let's say a custom map or creative projects and stuff like that but as I say you can apply it to any sign so long as you actually specify the sign and I guess this tutorial also shows you how to merge data across for signs as well when it comes to the glowing effect on the sign itself. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. And as this sign says, you're very awesome. As I said in the previously in the video, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Hopefully it helped you with some command block stuff, especially if you're looking for something like this. And if you enjoyed the video, then a like on the video would be very much appreciated. And if you want to follow my Twitter, my Twitter is in the description or you can use the Twitter on screen right now. So that's at Draki Series on Twitter. And if you want to see more Minecraft content, so Redstone, tutorials, seed showcases, all kinds of different things, then subscribe to the channel so that you actually stay up to date and click the notification bell so you stay notified of any future videos. I hope to reach 10,000 subscribers as a goal. So if you could help me achieve that, then that would be absolutely great. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Hopefully you have fun with these command blocks and the redstone I've shown you today. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Take care and bye-bye.